Yo, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. Recently, we just got changes to our class that KR has right now that are implemented. And let's just jump into it. Let's just play the intro and just jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this without editing, and I just want to give you my honest opinion on these changes. The number one changes that are going to happen to Zerker is that they're going to get rid of the general disarray from our skill, replacing it with another skill called Flame Chain. Before I show and go through the, through the changes that they did, imagine a world without you having the skill General Disarray. And with General Disarray, it's just basically this skill right here, where you just jump forward, do a ground lift. Throughout the Zerker community, everyone says that it's a pivotal skill in PvP and PvE, and some people say that they don't use it at all. So I really don't know who to believe, but in my experience playing Awakening Zerker, General Disarray is kind of a big skill to be losing. This is a movement skill. This is one of our key movement skills that either gets a knockdown or it's just something that just gives you extra movement. So General Disarray could be used in pre-awakening by having a hot bar. Or it can be used in Awakening. Very versatile skill, especially when you pair it with Shake Off and all other things with your attack speed and movement speed. It's a very good skill just to like keep yourself mobile. But we're losing that skill. We're losing that skill. So let's go over the patch notes, okay? Let's go over the patch notes. So I already highlighted what is um, the explanation of why they're removing the skill. So it says Giant Awakening is intended to prove the lack of skill that be used in PvE focused. So the, this change of removing Devastation is solely because of PvE intentions. They want to make our PvE better because, you know, we could all agree that Zerker, Awakening Zerker PvE could kind of use a buff. We all could agree about that. Yes. So the developer said, yes, Zerker needs a PvE buff. So they've been saying that after using all of these damaging skills for Awakening... Everything's on cooldown, so they usually just spam ground lift and blasting repeatedly. That's what they've been doing. So after they do their full damage combo, so let's just do this, right? The the PvE damage combo, which is just this, blasting, do this, this, you know, this, this. And then all my stuff is on cooldown, so they've been just they've just been spamming this. Blasting ground lift, blasting ground lift, blasting ground lift, blasting ground lift. Oh, cooldowns are up. Alright, blasting ground lift, blasting ground lift. Like no one grinds like that. No one grinds like that on PvE Zerker. No one does. But you know who does do it? People who are brand new to Zerker that do not know how to play the class. So what the developer decided to do was he was using, after he popped all his damaging skills, this right here, and he was also using General Disarray to do more damage. And he said, let's, let's, let's read the, the quotations. After using Ground Lift and Blasting repeatedly, the, the, the skill, which is this formation destruction, which is John Disarray, was unsatisfactory to use in PvE, so it was replaced with Flame Chain. So basically, yes, it, this skill, a movement skill to kill mobs, right? A skill that we primarily use to kill mobs was taken away. I mean, a skill that we primarily use to move was taken away because it didn't kill mobs fast enough. So now let me explain this. A, a, there's there's differences. Damaging skills kill things. Movement skills get you from point A to point B. So why are they trying to kill things with a movement skill? Why are they trying to kill things with a movement skill? Next thing you know, other patches are going to take away Lava Piercer because it does no damage to mobs in PvE. Next thing you know, the next patch after that, they're going to take away Giant Leap because it does, does no damage to mobs in PvE. Like, the, the reasoning behind this change completely goes over my head. I do not understand the reason why. I don't think any other class in the game has had a skill removed from their kit. Keep in mind, General Disarray? General Disarray was part of our kit since day one of Awakening Zerker. This skill right here was part of our skill set on day one of Awakening Zerker. This is literally our core foundation 
of Zerker. And they want to just 100% just get rid of it for a skill that does damage and PvE. So yeah, let's look at what the skill does, man. Look at that. Cool. It looks like you jump forward a little bit, and you, you, you do a Superman punch, and you punch more, right? It looks like it has some distance, but I've seen the way how the skill is on the KR or on the test servers. It looks promising, but people are saying that you can't cancel it. I just don't understand why they decide just to take off a skill and put in another one. They should have just given us another skill. This right here concerns me a little bit when it comes to Zerker PvP. People are saying that this skill in PvE is really good. Well, whatever. But the thing is, is that the reasoning that they, d they gave to take away one of our pivotal key movement skills is just solely because it does no damage in PvE. Solely because it does no damage. Because the guy who was grinding couldn't figure out what to do after this. So he was doing this, spamming General Disarray, and just kept on doing that over and over again until his damage came up. And, and that's why that's going to supplement this awkward thing that you sometimes rarely come across whenever you're playing Zerker PvE Awakening. So this right here is a complete L because the, the, the explanation for them giving it, yes, this skill was unsatisfactory and was changed into another skill because it didn't kill mobs because it's a movement skill. So going off of that logic, Lava Piercer and... Giant Leap are on the chopping block, bro. I'm sorry. I might be a little bit over-exaggerating, but hey, this is reality. We're losing General Disarray. Okay, cool. So now we're just going to go off of the other stuff that has. All right, so Colossus. I don't know what really this means. Can it only be activated with skill slots, which is basically they're changing our Q buff. Ground lifting, activate before movement. Okay, cool. So this is the main skill or the main thing that I want to go over. Slugfest. The, they're going to actually change Slugfest into two skills, similar to how our Devastation is changed into two skills. So, whenever we have Slugfest going on, and keep in mind, like, they might change this at all, but, like, so Slugfest basically says, at the last hit, it either does a down smash. So, that, that's basically it. So, our Slugfest is going to be, like, regular hits of Slugfest, and you know that the emphasized last hit of Slugfest? That is going to be split into two skills, similar to our Devastation. So our Devastation, basically it's going to be like this, and then you have Earth Dividing. Which is really cool, because the last hit of Slugfest is a Down Smash, which is cool AF. So usually, like, the combos that Zerker do, that we can never actually do, is like, we do this, into this right here, into this, into Slugfest, and then the last hit is a Down Smash. You see how he flew back a little bit like that? That is a down smash. So, that would be really cool. Imagine just having a hot bar for just Slugfest last hit so you could just get a air attack or a down smash. Similar to how you could just do Devastation. Okay, I only want to do the last hit of Devastation. Cool. Easy, easy. I could, I could imagine that this right here, this singular change right here, is going to change Zerka PvP for the better. Okay. It's amazing. It's amazing. And it's saying that we could switch from... Uh, if it's going to be on Hotbar, if this second half of... What's that called? Slugfest is going to be put on Hotbar, that means we will be able to do Slugfest instantly from our pre-awakening. So it's going to be like this, and then this, and then instead of hitting like ground lift or anything, you could just go straight into a Slugfest. Like, that is going to be fucking crazy. So... That is going to change PvP really, really... Like, it's going to change it a lot when it comes to PvP in, in Zerker. Our combo potential is going to actually increase by a lot. So now, we go on to the skill Ancient Wave. Usually Ancient Wave, they're they're complaining about our PvE being dog water, okay? Which we could kind of agree that we do need a buff. So, the biggest change that they're doing here is just cool down from 20 seconds to 15 seconds. This is a decent change. I don't see this being like a big change for like PvP, but for PvE, yeah, imagine just throwing out Ancient Waves 25% more faster. So cool. And they also changed the damage too by a lot, but they also reduced our, our PvP by 10% or by 9%, which is, you know, it's whatever. It's a slight little increase. 
What's that called? This one changes it where split damage is actually applied. And then basically they're just changing all of our skills from Devastation. So basically they're giving us a big buff on the last hit of our skills. They're giving us a huge damage increase on the last hit of most of our, uh, of our skills. But they also did lower down the damage a little bit from the, the other previous subsequent hits. And the reason why is like, oh, Bikante, these are different numbers. This number right here is bigger than the number on the left. Well, the thing is, is that the damage reduction rate basically evens these out. So it's like, yes, you do more damage, but you're also getting your damage reduced by more. So basically, these numbers, except for the last hit, are basically the same without the buff. But where our buff usually comes in is at the last hit of these skills. So Devastation, Earthcraft, I don't even know what this translates to. It doesn't matter. Slugfest, the last hit of Slugfest is going to be pretty big change. And so on and so forth. So remember that extra hits, skills that have a lot of hits on them, like Devastation, they're going to do a lot more damage on the last hit. Okay? So keep that in mind. So we're going to be forced to play out the full animation of certain skills to get the buff from those changes. So overall, my, my opinion on these changes for Zerker is it's, it's good and it's bad. It depends on the future of, what it's gonna, of what's going to happen. So my major prediction, and I know you guys are going to take this away, and I know this is going to happen. Slugfest is going to be the new key skill in PvP. That's it. Slugfest is going to be the new key skill because now we can just instantly go into the down smash portion of Slugfest. Instantly, which is going to be crazy. It's going to be a big buff to Zerker in PvP. What I'm really concerned about is this skill, getting our, our general disarray taken away. I like this skill. I love it. To all death, general disarray has always been with us. But this skill does have the potential to basically replace General Disarray. It does. It has kind of like the key stuff that General Disarray has, which is the going forward and the cannon and dropping a little bit of damage. The thing is, is that right now people are saying that this skill is uncountable. I, I would need to actually see it myself. And it's also kind of slow and wonky to cancel into, which obviously what I'm guessing that this skill cancels into is going to be similar to the new skill that we got is time to rock have you guys ever tried to cancel into time to rock cancels pretty well and pre-awakening when you when you do time to rock it cancels extremely well after any major skill in time to rock if you broadcast it but the thing is is that when you whenever you try to use it on the hot bar and when awakening it kind of takes a long time for it to go like right here i'm pressing hot bar and that's still kind of a long time to like go from time to rock it's still cancelable but it just kind of feels a little bit slow which you know obviously zerker cancels are very you know like smooth and like you can flow them together correctly but i feel like this skill is going to be a little bit clunky so in the future i can see the developers giving us a bone and making this skill more cancelable and more flowy so we can actually just get over us losing devastation that's the only way i could see that this buff right here this buff right here to be good for us and that's my two cents for everything you guys so with that that's the zerker changes and hopefully things work out like i say honestly i thought whenever people were telling me that zerker buffs were going to happen to zerker was basically give us more health on returns and our cries you know because 350 hp per second isn't going to be a damn thing when everyone, once everyone starts running over 300 AP. Like 350 HP per second and you have to stand still like a dummy dumb and just get, you know, skills thrown at you? Yeah, you're dying. Like no one ever uses any of the any of the, the beast roars except for Ire of the Beast because it has a frontal block. That's the only one we use because we use the other ones. Guess what? Your, your health is just going to go down the toilet. But I thought that th that was the buff that we're going to get for Zerker. I thought those were the buffs. No, no. Taking out General Disarray and replacing it with a skill that hopefully in some time would be equivalent to a General Disarray. I'm really hoping to. So 
with that, you guys, have a good rest of your day. Those are my opinions. And if you guys have any questions, to ask me. The links to find me are down below. I stream Monday through Friday. And yeah, feel free to check me out. Have a good one.